It's very hard for us to make that French. Yes, I know. <laughs> you know about that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, and Luke always makes fun of me. Okay. Well, Natalie and Jean, it's very nice to have this opportunity to talk, to talk with you about your film, The Professional. And congratulations to both of you on your magnificent performances. Thank you. Thank you. Natalie, I'll talk with you first of all. Um, I'm told by your director, Luc Bassan, that you were 11 when he signed you to do this picture, and you're now 13. Yes. Yes. When you went in to meet him the first time, did you read, or what did you do? Um, first, I just talked to him. He told me a little about the scene, and then I read for him. And which scene did you read? Um, the piggy scene. The which? The piggy scene. Oh, the piggy scene. Yes, yeah. yes, okay. And you had not acted before, ever? Um, I had done um, a lot of local theater, like school, camp plays, um, my, you know, just very local theater, um, and I had done an off-Broadway show and, um, and um, a showcase. Are you from New York City? No. Where are you from? from uh, it's a suburb out of New York. I see. So you had an agent then? Yes. Okay. And uh, when you found out and read the entire script, did you want to do it, or did you think, oh, I don't know? I know. The second I read the script, I said, I've got to do this movie. I loved it. There were parts of it that I didn't love, but, I mean, even in the script, the, the, the you know, that, that warm, nice story between Matilda and Leon really shone through all of the violence and everything else. And Luke, Luke worked with us on some things that we didn't love in the script, you know, and he took a lot of that, of that out. At any time, did your parents have any objections, or did you really have to talk them into letting you do this? Um, I, I, I really told them, I said, I really, really love the script, and I think it, I could do, you know, I really want this opportunity. And, um, and they had some concerns at the beginning about a few um, scenes in the film and um, about the smoking and about the guns and um, the cursing and um, things like that. And, um, but they talked to Luke about it and he took out, I think, two or three scenes that we were uncomfortable with. Um, a lot of the curses were taken out and Matilda never shoots anybody um, and she only is seen smoking twice, I think, and I didn't actually have to smoke, so it wasn't a problem. When we say smoke and mirrors, it was smoke and mirrors. <laughs> what? <laughs> the magic of filmmaking yeah. is what it was. <laughs> John, let's get you into the conversation here. Uh, you had not worked in the U.S. before, had you? No, it's my first time. And what kind of an experience was it coming to New York City and filming here? Yeah, it's like a dream, you know, and having Daniel Yellow, having Natalie, having Gary Oldman with me, and shooting in New York it was, I mean, like a dream, like being in another world. <laughs> I was so happy. And, uh, you know, my, my challenge was to, to be able to speak English. Mm. You do quite well. Uh, were you not speaking English before you came here? No, we did the big blue in English, but he had, he had an accent. He was Italian, so it was easy for me to do it. But this one, I, I tried very hard not to have any accent, you know, I mean, as possible. Mm. When you were shooting in the streets of New York and around the areas, were people, uh, and there was the gunfire and all that, uh, were people thinking it was for real or did they know it was a movie? No, they, they saw, they saw the, the, police, the police all around, you know, taking care of other people. No, no. At the beginning, they come to ask. You know, at the beginning of the day, when you're shooting, they come to ask you. What are you doing? Yeah? What happened here? We see a lot of trucks, a lot of people moving, lights, 
is it a movie? <laughs> and then they're happy. Then they talk in the neighborhood. Hey, we're shooting a movie in our neighborhood. And then they're, they're proud, you know, because it's their neighborhood, you know. It was, we had very good relationship with people from, it's true. Yeah. Was there anything about the movie that, as an actor, that um, upset you or made you uncomfortable? Uh, no, you know, I, I, I believe a lot in what I'm doing. I need to, I mean, not to kill people, of course. <laughs> I know it's a game, of course. But except that, and when I do that, I mean, when I do a hitman, boom, I play the hitman, I forget, like playing tennis. And uh, I live with the character as long as the movie is making, you know, I live with the character. I need to believe in myself, you know. I need to be inside the guy, living with him, acting like him, till the end. And at the end I said, enough. And then you go back to being Jean. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, again, congratulations to both of you, and thank you thank for you. your thank time you. today. Thank you. And thank uh, you. I look forward to seeing you again sometime. Thank you thank very you. much. Mm -hmm.